Okay, so we have a really special 60 code here. This is the wheel of 60. And these are the 60 numbers from the end digits of the Fibonacci sequence. And you can see that when we draw the Fibonacci sequence, we go one, one, two, three, five, eight. So you can see from the numbers here, we've got one, one, two, three, five, eight. But when we get to 13, we take the last digit. So this is one, one, two, three, five, eight. Three, one, four is here, three, one, four. And then it goes five, nine, five and nine across. You notice we're going clockwise. We're drawing all these Fibonacci numbers in a clockwise ray. So it goes nine, then it goes four, three, seven, four, three. And I'm gonna draw the seven here. And you can see that when I draw the seven, I get to a red dot. There's four red dots. So the start is there. There's a red dot, red dot, red dot. They represent every 15 numbers. So when I join the seven to here, I've done the first 15 numbers here on the cross. So I, so I started up here at zero here, and I've just gone all, I've done a quarter of the, I've done the first 15 of the six, 60 numbers. And this was the wheel of 60 discovered by Lagrange, Jean-Louis Lagrange in 1774. And it's a periodicity of 60 digits. So now I'm going to go seven, seven, four, one. I'm going to start from here. So I have to continue now. Um, I have to continue now with seven. So I start, this is my next set of, of 15 sets. So seven, seven's going up. Four goes across, four. And then it goes one down and five across, one down and five across. So I'm up to here, five across, six up. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see I've already drawn some lines in because I'm doing this in 10 minutes. Five, six, one across, seven down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven down. So, got, so it's seven down. Eight across goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across. So I'm up to the eight, five up. One, two, three, four, five, done. Um, three across there, there's three, there's the eight down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One across, and now there's a nine. I'm getting to the second quadrant. I'm trying to get to this red dot. So I've got eight, one, nine here, eight, one, nine. So I go nine up to here. So now we've actually gone halfway. So we've gone halfway. So I've reached, I've done that red dot, red dot. So that means we're correct. So we've got 30 more numbers to do. So now we go from the zero, we go nine, nine, eight. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine. Notice I'm going in a spiral direction, nine. Another nine down here. Then eight across is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight across. And now I've got to go up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is to there, I've got a marker, so I've got to go to the right, seven, five, one, two, three, four, five, seven, five. And I'll keep my finger there because I need to know where I am. Seven, seven, five, two, one, two, I come down to here, seven, five, two, um, seven across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is there, seven across. And I've got to go up now, seven across, um, five, two, seven, two, seven, two, seven, nine, up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're getting there. So I'm up to nine, six across, there's six, um, and five down, one, two, three, four, five, that comes down to here. So keep my finger on that point, seven, five, one, six, six up, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six there, seven across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is there. So that's at seven across there. And it looks like I've got to come down three. And it, notice when I come down three, I hit the next red dot. So that means we've done three quarters of the 60. So we've just got another 15 numbers to go and did, and. The reason why we're doing this is so you can observe something. So the last 15 is we go three across and three. So we go three across here. 
then three up, three, three, six. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's three, three, six brings me to there. Now nine, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got to draw, notice that we're going through the place where we started. This point here was the, the, the top point zero was where we started, but we're actually going through it. We haven't ended on it. So where's all this going? Keep watching, have a look. So we go down nine, so zero, zero, nine. I've got to go five across, one, two, three, four, five, then four, so it's five across, four up, then nine across, one, um, one, two, three, four. So that's gone four up. This is like a circuit of energy. Four, now nine across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So th that goes to there. That fill that up. The long line. So now we've got to go down nine. Three, one, two, three. So it's gone down three, two, then five. So two across. And five up, one, two, three, four, five, it goes to there. So we get into the last leg. It's like a horse race. We're getting to the last bit of it. There's the five. Now the last numbers here, look on the wheel here, is seven, two, nine, one, and back to where we started from. So this is where we started from. So let's draw in the last few numbers, seven, two, nine, one. So from the five, I go seven across because I'm going clockwise. So there's my seven. It goes two down, two down, nine across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I go there, so nine. And the last number, as you can see from the nine, we go one up. And look where we ended up here. I ended up right here. I started from here. And I ended there. So how amazing is that, that this wheel of 60 code by Lagrange, discovered in 1774, but no one has ever before decided to draw the spiral path. And look what happens. It's a re-entry. It's a code that as it unwinds and explores itself, it comes back to where it began. And I find that really fascinating. I mean, who would have thought to even do something like this. So I am calling it a Jane discovery, not for ego. It's just to say that for some reason I had this flash that what would happen if we were to take this 60 code here and turn the numbers into a picture, turn the numbers into a picture. Yeah. So I'm calling it the infinitely repeating 60 pattern of the fabulous Fibonacci sequence, because we're looking at the final end digits and another name for this type of maths is called modulus maths or modulus 10 or clock mathematics. Just like we work with 24 hours in a day, we have a clock. So, so after we, we hit 12, 12 o'clock, 13 really becomes a 1 and 14 o'clock really becomes a 2. So we've done this clock of 60, you can see here. So it was all based on modulus 10 because if when we get to the Fibonacci number here, say... Um, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one. This should be twenty-one, but I took away ten and another ten, and I'm really looking at the remainder, the final digit, the end digit one. So we did find repetition. So as mathematicians, we're pattern hunters and we're always looking for that which repeats because this is an infinity. We don't understand infinity. So by finding what we call periodicity or that which repeats, we're able to get a handle on this infinity.